Imus Pilot Elementary School geared towards sustainable and eco-friendly school. We imbue programs and projects that initiates and integrates instruction, research, and activities which are environment-related. Green stands for Go for Revolutionary Responsiveness to Ecological Environment for Nature. As an educational institution, we mold our students to be the catalyst of change for the community and environment. Green Project branches out to different programs which focuses to Recycling, Planting and Growing, Energy Efficiency, Water Conservation, Pollution Prevention, and build sense of volunteerism for our environment. Eco Operativa aims to promote a culture of environmental awareness and discipline among the youth through ecological solid waste management. It teaches waste segregation to our pupils by encouraging them to bring recyclable materials, which is convertible to cash. Teachers are also required to open an account in Escuela Cooperativa where their classroom recyclable waste can also be converted as class funds that can be used for cleaning expenses and can help them to fund their classroom activities. The school implementation of solid waste management protects both health and the environment. Basura Ko Ligpit Ko or Project Balik aims to help reduce residual or landfill waste in line with the advocacy of the Solid Waste Council of the City of Imos. A school-wide innovation in solid waste management are these character beans. Meet Baymax, Minion, and Spongebob. These creatively designed boxes help us segregate waste inside the classroom that can eventually be recycled. Max is a friendly giant for white scratch papers, whether crumpled or a tiny little sheet. Minion, a yellow little creature where colored papers and cartons shall be placed. Tiny wrappers and clean sheets of plastic will throw here. Make sure that wrappers were clean cause ants might bite SpongeBob SquarePants. Plus two residual waste bins. These are non-hazardous waste referring to rubbish not able to be recycled anymore like tissue, wet wipes, sanitary napkin, dirty and used paper plates and plastics. This must be properly disposed and be collected by dump trucks. Don't forget to swipe floors in your classrooms and hallway. This dirt must be placed on the other residual bin. Make sure that no chunks of paper and plastics must be mixed here. When you see dried leaves, they must be collected in a sack and must be carried to our compost pit located in the garden. How about the plastic bottles? They should be placed in our Material Recovery Facility or MRF. Plastic Free Challenge is designed to raise awareness and promote solutions. The campaign is fueled by creative contributions and your participation. Plastic is non-biodegradable so every piece ever made lasts forever. We can make a huge difference if we come together and act now. Say no to single-use plastics. Everyone is encouraged to take the Plastic Free Friday Challenge and be part of the solution to plastic pollution so we can have cleaner streets, oceans, and beautiful communities. Dahil sa Imus Pyro, hashtag Ayaw Namin ang Plastic. Paper conservation program in school wherein used paper is reduced and reused. Reduce your paper use. Try duplex printing. Reuse the back of the paper. Use bubble sheets instead of producing so much test papers. And make use of the technology and be creative. Let's save trees. An energy conservation program that affect higher energy savings and reduce expenditures on electricity. Free Campaign is a judicious conservation and proliferates information to pupils in school by posting energy efficiency tips beside the power switch. Unplug electricity when not in use. Change light bulbs to LED lights. Use LED TV. And guess what? There will be a provision of solar panels for our school that will eventually convert energy from sunlight to electricity. Sustainably manage the natural resource of fresh water and provide sanitation for every learner. Water is precious or rip crusade is alongside with winds or wash in school program that do all sorts of measures to conserve water and promote sanitation among our pupils. The rainwater harvester, water treatment facilities, and changing of licking pipes begin to save water to cope with its scarcity and ensure sustainability. The school pollution prevention or P2 initiatives includes posting no smoking signages, no idling of vehicles, and proper disposal of waste. 
Vehicles exhaust is an air pollutant and health hazard. Please turn off engine and cars are only be given 5 minutes to idle inside the school area. Dropping point and parking area are available in the school to limit too many vehicles entering and lessen possible pollution. Bleed Green is a great strides in greening efforts of the school and the community from constructing more efficient, sustainable, and renewable projects that engages the students, teachers, and staff working for a common goal. This is a concentrated program where we motivate teachers and pupils to bring out creativity out of trash. Alcogel hand sanitizer is our school eco product that is effective in destroying bacteria and removing impurities. It is both effective and efficient performing its antiseptic function and repel mosquitoes. These homegrown products were made by our learners with disability. Project Binhi linked and compacted the separate goals of the Department of Education in addressing malnutrition and promoting eco-friendly learning environment for all learners. It aims to strengthen skills in reducing environmental impact and innovative green ideas through camaraderie. It forms farm-to-table mechanism to school. As a light our school, we set up to help people in schools to exchange seeds from our bio-intensive garden. League of Green Marshals Echo clubs and student organizations work hand-in-hand in, hand in maintaining the cleanliness and orderliness of the school. They also take part in bringing out the programs of school's green project. SPG, YESO, KKK, Star Mito, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Garni Soup Kids, and Young Farmers Club serves as the catalyst of change for nature and environment. Garden Classroom serves as the school living laboratory inside the garden that gives the students opportunity to learn and discover having hands-on experiences. The garden classroom is a venue where plants grow and where children grow too with information about the school's bio-intensive garden. TGC is packed with garden-based activities that integrates within learning areas, arts, and crafts. Oplan Abot Kalikasan aims to cultivate habits of healthy living and sustainable environment practice among our school and outside the community. We also have partnerships and linkages that has the same passion and goal for the better good of the environment. Imus Pilot Elementary School Green Project aims to attain a zero-waste status by projecting to this sustainable and eco-friendly campaign within and outside the school community.